Hello guys, welcome to my channel and in this video I'll explain you article number 2.8 potential energy in an external field. Okay, so in our in our last video we see that when there are charges and we bring the charges together to form a system, then we have to do certain amount of work against the electrostatic force and that work is stored in the form of electrostatic potential energy. Okay, but now we'll see that there is an external field and now we'll bring a system together we form a system of charge then what will be the potential energy of the system in this external field okay first we'll start with potential energy of a single charge in an external field so let's start in section 2.7 the source of the electric field was specified the charges and their location and the potential energy of the system of those charges okay so we see that we are the rest there were charges, two charges, started with two charges and their position vector were known from certain origin and so the, and we calculated the potential energy of the system so their location was specified, the electric field due to each other, the charges was specified, okay, everything was known in, the, in that case and the, then we find out the pot, potential energy of the system. In this section we ask a related but a distinct question, what is the potential energy of a system of a charge Q in a given field? Okay, this question was in fact the starting point that led us to the notion of the electrostatic potential. Okay, so now we'll determine what is the potential of a charge kept in an electric field. Okay, uh, and but here we address the question again, clarifying it in what way is different from the discussion in section 2.7. We have already uh, discussed this point in our previous videos, starting videos, but we'll discuss it in a different way. Okay, now. The main difference is that we are now concerned with the potential energy of a charge in an external field. Okay, the external field is not produced by a given charge whose potential energy we wish to calculate. Okay, you see in the first video, first second videos, what we discussed, we discussed we have a source charge. Okay, so obviously, obviously the, the electric field, there will be electric field due to this charge. So the uh, source of this electric field is known in, the, in that case and we do work um, in a unit positive charge against this electric field the, the source was known but now in this case the external field source will not, not be unknown okay there will be external field and the source will be unknown to us okay and here we have found the we'll find the potential energy of this charge is produced by sources external to the given charge source of the electric field may be known but most of the time it is unknown what is only given is the potential due to this elect external electric field at a point where we will find the uh, potential energy of the charge okay so now we assume that a charge does not significantly affect the sources producing the external field this is true if q is very small or the external sources are held, held fixed by other unspecified forces and similar to our discussion in our first second videos starting videos of this chapter so our charge that we are concerned uh, will not affect the the source charge wherever it is kept it will not affect that okay so for this uh, we can to have two condition like if we take the charge or charge to be very small then it will not affect the uh, source charge where, where it wherever it is okay or what we can do it can be held by some forces external forces so that even if there is a force there is a force by this charge to that source charge it will not affect it changes configuration okay even q is finite then t will take a situation in which uh, the electric field is so strong that even the source charge is kept in infinity it has electric field even at the region will find the the potential energy of this charge okay the in this case the electric field is so strong that the source charge is an infinity and it has electric field in this region where we will find the electric field um, potential energy of this charge okay so the point is that this charge small this charge whether it is finite or infinite doesn't affect the source charge okay it will not exert force on source charge it will not affect the configuration of the source charge this is the main point this is electric field and we are given a charge okay so now note again that we are interested in determining the potential energy of a given charge q in the external field we are not interested in the potential energy of the sources producing the external field okay so we are only concerned in determining the potential energy of this charge in the electric field and we are not concerned with the potential energy of the, this charge source charge okay so now external electric field E and the corresponding external potential V may vary from point to point by definition V at a point is the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to the point P okay so this pot electric field and potential will vary okay as we move in the in any direction okay and now you know what is the potential at any point is okay it is a work done 
when in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to that point this is the work done is the potential of that point okay and uh, we continue to take potential at infinity to be zero we know what is significant is potential difference okay so the other point is taken at infinity and infinity we have taken the potential as zero so the potential at any point will be at point p will be the work done in bringing the charge from infinity to the point okay thus work done in bringing a charge q from infinity to the point in the external field is qv okay so now we are what we are given an electric field okay earlier in our previous discussion we were bringing the first charge and we were not doing any work because there was no electric field now there is an electric field and the work done in bringing the unit positive charge from infinity to this point a point in the electric field will be what this will be Q. We suppose this point has a potential V due to this electric field. So okay, so the potential energy of this charge will be Q times V. Okay, this work is stored in the form of potential energy of Q. If the point P has position vector R related to some origin, we can write. Okay, so suppose this has uh, this point where we are bringing this is electric field and we are bringing a unit positive uh, a charge, not a unit positive charge, a charge from infinity to this point. So there will be we have to do work against the electric field. So what will the potential energy of suppose this has a potential V and it has a position vector R. So what will be the work done and the potential energy stored in the this charge? This will be Q V R. Thus, if an electron with charge Q is equal to E, 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb is accelerated by a potential difference of del V is equal to 1 volt, it would gain energy of Q times del V, 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule. Okay, so if we accelerate an electron in a potential difference of 1 volt, then what will be the pot uh, energy gained by this electron? That will be equal to K, kinetic energy will go to work done, and this will be equal to V times Q. And what is the potential V 1 volt and this charge is charge of electron that is 1.6 into 10, 10 to the power minus 19. Okay, so the um, this energy is called as electron volt. So what is electron volt? It is the energy gained by an electron by a single electron when it is accelerated through a potential difference of 1 volt. Okay, so this is the unit of energy. The unit based on electron volt are most commonly used in atomic, nuclear and particle physics. So it is a very small value as you can see 10 to the power minus 19 so this value of energy is used in atomic nuclear and particle physics okay this is very small energy so we use uh, uh, the other uh, units of electron volt k electron volt that is kilo electron volt 10 to the power 3 electron volt mega electron volt 10 to the power 6 then giga electron volt 10 to the power 9 electron volt okay okay there are other units also okay so what we discuss in this paragraph is that what is the potential energy of a charge kept in an external field whose source is unknown we are only concerned with the electric field not the source of the that uh, the electric field okay that will be equal to this okay in the next paragraph what we discuss we discuss the potential energy of a system in an external field okay there will be more than two charges then what will be the potential energy we'll discuss that in next paragraph